So what you saw there was this plaque. It's convex, not flat, like most of them are in North America. Long story short, I uh, took a lesson with Nathan Hughes, and in the read part of the, the lesson, he pulled out this convex plaque that was was different from the ones that you usually find um, at some double read shops. Uh, here in North America, we really don't like to use those kind of large convex plaques because they open up the sides too much. This here is much more refined and smaller, and so it doesn't um, attack the read in the same way when you push it in. Um, I had uh, Nathan and a talented jeweler slash amateur oboist um, get in touch with each other and they converse back and forth to basically come up with this kind of product. Um, if you are interested in one, uh, you can contact me or the link below. Um, they are rather expensive, they're kind of like the Rolls Royces of plaques, but you have to understand these are handmade at the moment. Uh, we would need uh, a huge order to then make it feasible to go to you know a machine process so right now unfortunately they are handmade and um, expensive for a plaque it might be a little bit of a shock um, but they do allow some very interesting things when um, finishing the read it's really used just at the very end kind of in the corners the transition areas and um, it just gives you some more opportunities. If a read isn't working in one way, maybe put this in and it might give you um, the ability to make the read more open, a little darker. Uh, responses can be greatly uh, increased because you can really go for those kind of refinements. So um, yeah, just email me or yours and uh, we can try to help you guys out if you are interested in going in this direction.